Elizabeth, hiya. Hi there, Clive. Well, the world's eyes are focused on Cornwall at the moment. It's not quite shining in all its glory, is it? We need this cloud to break up. I spent a many a childhood on Porth Beach in Cornwall waiting for that cloud to break up playing cricket. And talking of which, the cloud has arrived for the cricket in Edgbaston as well. And the cloud may be thick enough the odd spot or two of light drizzle through this afternoon shouldn't interrupt play. The reason why we've got the cloud around at the moment, well, it's this weather front that is splitting the country in two. Behind it, somewhat fresher conditions, less humid than it has been ahead of it. We've still got some heat and some sunshine to come. So through the afternoon, then that front is going to be sitting down through the Midlands and across into Wales and down through the West Country as well. It'll be pushing its way steadily south and east behind a bit more of a breeze, so not quite as humid as it has felt just recently. And temperatures will be a little bit down here. So we're looking at highs of around 13 to 20 degrees, but we should see 24, that's 75 Fahrenheit into the southeast corner. The front still has to sink south and it will do so overnight. We keep a fair amount of cloud around through the course of the night, but it won't be as humid as the night just passed. We only saw overnight lows in some places of 16 or 17 degrees, 63 Fahrenheit. So a little bit more comfortable for getting a good night's sleep. And then we start off on Saturday with high pressure building once again. It really is going to be a glorious weekend if you like it dry, settled and sunny and increasingly hot with that darker russet tones pushing right across the country particularly by Sunday. So there will be a weak weather front just producing a few showers up into the far north of Scotland, a little more cloud in the northwest. But generally speaking, a fine day, sunshine coming through and temperatures starting to climb. We'll see highs of around 25 degrees in the southeast during Sunday afternoon, 77 Fahrenheit. But the real hot day will be Sunday. Now, that means that for the cricket, we're going to see 22 on Saturday, 27, that's into the 80s for Sunday. I suspect that could get a little bit too hot for both spectators and players. Yes, a weak weather front into the northern and western Isles, continuing to bring some cloud, few light showers here, but elsewhere it's dry, settled, sunny, a light breeze and temperatures peaking at 26 degrees in Aberdeen, 27 in Birmingham, 28 possibly in London. And when will the heat peak? Well, potentially Monday into Tuesday, we could see 30 degrees. That'll be the hottest day of the year so far. Temperatures back to normal into next week later on. Bye. Wow.